Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a trapezoid, also known as a trapezium, depending on which part of the world you're from. I'm going to use trapezoid in this video though. Now remember, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. And the formula we use to find the area is the length of base one plus the length of base two times the height divided by two. Hint, think triangles. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that as we go through our examples. Now when we're talking trapezoids, the bases are going to be the parallel sides. It doesn't matter if it's the top, bottom, side, or other side. It matters which sides are parallel. Those are your bases. The other sides, which are not parallel, those are called the legs. So let's jump into number one, where we have a trapezoid with the bases at the top and bottom, and then these sides that are not parallel, these are the legs. We will not need the measurements of those legs to calculate the area. So we're going to write out our formula and plug in the information we need. So area equals, well, base one plus base two times the height of the trapezoid divided by two. So let's plug in. Base one, we're going to use four inches plus base two, we're going to use eight inches. Remember, the bases are the parallel sides times the height, which is six inches, divided by two. So we have four plus eight, which is 12, times six is 72. So we have 72 over two, or 72 divided by two. Our final area is going to be, well, 72 divided by 2 is 36, and this is square inches because we're talking area. So 36 square inches for the area for number 1. Now you may have noticed that the formula we use to find the area of a trapezoid is similar to the formula we use to find the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or one half times the base times the height. Multiplying by a half is the same as dividing by two, so if you see those different formulas, they mean the same thing. But for this, we have base one plus base two times height divided by two. I'll show you why. So trapezoids can be split into two triangles. For example, number one, if I go from one corner to the other, so top right to bottom left, I get two triangles. I'd get two triangles if I went from the top left to the bottom right as well, so it doesn't really matter which of those you use, it will split or divide that trapezoid into two triangles. Now the triangle's bases will be the same as the trapezoids, they will correspond. And the height of the triangles will be the same as the trapezoid as well. So what we could do, we could find the area of those two triangles and add them together to get the area of the trapezoid. But we can combine that process into one formula, which is what we just did when we did base one plus base two times the height divided by two. Let's move on to number two, and we'll start by writing out our formula. So area equals base one plus base two times the height divided by two. So let's plug in. So base one, well, we need to find the two parallel sides. And the two parallel sides are the eight meters and the 12 meters. It doesn't really matter which one you use for base one or base two, because adding them together, 12 plus eight or eight plus 12, is going to give you the same thing. I'm going to use eight for base one and 12 for base two. So eight plus 12 times the height of nine meters. In this problem, we'll use the measurement of one of the legs. In number one, we didn't need any of the measurements for the legs, but number two, one of those legs gave us the height, so we used it. And we divide that by 
2. So we know that 8 plus 12 is 20, times 9 is 180, and we divide that by 2 to get our final area. So 180 divided by 2, or half of 180, is going to be 90, and that is square meters. So that's our area for number 2. And let's take a look what happens when we split this into two triangles, just to get another visual. I'm going to go top right to bottom left again, and you can see that that trapezoid was divided into two triangles. So that formula helps us combine the areas of both of those triangles to get the final area. Now again, you can go from the top left to bottom right. It doesn't matter which way you split that trapezoid, it'll give you two triangles. So there you have it. There's how you find the area of a trapezoid. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.